Okay, so hello. Uh, today I plan on doing a Blu-ray ripping guide, I'm sorry for that pause, uh, with uh, DVD Fab, oh, I'm sorry, DVD Fab, um, I currently have 8.106, although this will pretty much work with any of the versions that can, has, that have Blu-ray ripping support. Um, so, if you want to download it, although this is pay for software, so you do have to pay for it. Um, I don't really remember how much I paid for it, so um, you'll just have to figure that out. Um, but to download a trial or whatever else for it, you can go to videohelp.com. I posted a short post about this on my blog. So, um, they have all these recently updated softwares. Um, usually DV there is a version of DVD Fab somewhere in here. There's the virtual the DVD virtual drive. That's not what we're looking for though. So it is not in there. So you can just click on Tools and type in DVD Fab, and then you want to go down to DVD Fab and it posts, and they have, it's $50, I guess. They have links to the, to the developer's site, direct link to the download, and then a download for the beta currently. And as you can see, it is at 8.106 right now, so that I have the most current version. And then they also have version histories and what they've recently changed and whatnot, and you can view the full change log by clicking on this link. So then you'll want to download a version of it. If you already have it, great. So then what you want to do, if you want to just rip the whole DV, the whole Blu-ray to your hard drive, as in the whole file structure, um, you'll want to click on Blu-ray copy, full disk, and then insert your Blu-ray Blu disk. I have one ripped to my hard drive already, so I'm just going to choose that. Select folder. And then it'll pop up with this, and you have to select Blu-ray's region code. Select whichever one you want, and click OK. And then it has this. You can remove the HD audio if you want. I'm going to choose to keep it. You can name it what you want, and then choose how, what you want. You can choose BD25, it'll take up less space, but it's not the best. If you want the full, then you choose that, and it'll tell you how much space it will take up on your hard drive. So the full disk will take up almost 50 gigabytes. So it is sort of a lot. Otherwise, you can choose Blu-ray Ripper, and you can choose what format you want to rip it into. Today, I am going to do MKV because that's my personal favorite. Um, also on here, at, before you hit start, if you want to rip it to your hard drive, you have to choose a folder on your hard drive. Otherwise, it'll try ripping it to a copying it to a disk, another disk. So back to the Ripper. I'm going to try do MKV today. But there's also iPod, and they have pro, pre-made profiles for the Xbox 360 and other systems. Um, so the same thing, once you insert your Blu-ray disc, the region code will pop up and it'll scan the disc. And it, it will automatically choose the one it thinks is the title it thinks is best. So we'll do that again. And see it analyzed it and chose title one. And then it automatically chooses an audio file, an audio language too. It automatically chose the DTS HD Master, and it automatically chooses a subtitle file too. I believe you can change that in the settings, but I just had it left. I'm gonna uncheck that, and then you can choose a profile you want to rip to. All this means is, as in like, it'll, all of them are in MKV container. The only thing you really have difference to choose from is the video codec and audio codecs. So I am going to choose MKV X264 AC3. And then I want to edit it a little more, change the, change the video resolution from 1920. I am going to put it at 720 by 300 so as to use less space. I'm going to fix the file size to 1.8 gigs. And it automatically changes to 2 because there is no difference. See. 
so and then it automatically tells you what the bit rate should be and it already tells me that it wants the, the profile wants a 448 kbps audio and 5.1 channel and then that no sub pictures because i did not choose a subtitle if you do it'll tell you to uh it, you'll have a choice to rip the subtitles to an idx or sub file or something like that or directly render it to the video you can also choose to do two pass or one pass i'm going to stick with one pass you can change the names and file names and whatnot so i'm going to leave it the rest as is click ok now this when you hit start it will start encoding the video to whatever folder you chose as the target and it will take a little while to do that the better cp you have the shorter amount of time it will take so i have a amd six core processor so it'll probably take an hour to an hour and a half maybe so i will pause the video and be with you right when it's done so i'll see you later um once you hit start you can it'll start that and i have dx v8 gpu acceleration enabled in the settings but you can also do a preview and it'll show you a part of the video now in the actual video these black marks i do not believe are there we'll see once it's actually done otherwise you'll have to do cropping in that advanced editing profile menu as you see it tells you how long it's supposed to take um, like I said, I'm guessing it's, it might actually take the two hours, but I'll see you once it's done. Okay, so I am back. It is almost done at two minutes and 20 seconds. So I was right. It took about an hour and a half to finish. Um, so we'll we're going to let that go and i just wanted to show you this that i'm still going so i'll be back once it's actually finished and show you what to do then okay so we are back it just hit task time left to zero it will now in just a few seconds pop back up Instead of a pause and finish, it just finished. Pop with the process completed successfully. Okay, finish. And then the video will be in the target folder, so I'll minimize that. The computer. To where I saved it. And there it is at 1.77, so we got it just about right. I was going for 1.8, so that's pretty good. And then I guess I'll view it to make sure it doesn't have those black bars on it, but we'll see. As you see, no black bars on the sides like it was showing in the preview while it was encoding it. And the whole video is there. Now, I did it at 720 by 300. You can do it, however whatever resolution you want 1280 by 720 920 by whatever if you want to do it that way but I chose to do 720 by 300 so um, and I'm sorry about all the mouse clicks um, in the beginning of the video I forgot they were on in the video recorder and I shut them off I'm not sure if they're still there but uh, in the next video which is going to be uh, guide on how to do rip a blu-ray blu-ray with me gui it's a bit more advanced although it's still pretty easy if you want to watch that one too i'm hoping to have it done at least within the next few days so watch up keep an eye out for that all right guys thanks for watching see you later